Hey everybody, this is Paul Yeo Jr. and today I'm actually very excited to show you guys uh, an excellent uh, CD, DVD, and Blu-ray burning program uh, called Burn Aware uh, and the newest version that come out is uh, version 10.4 and this uh, software also has the ability to burn ISO files um, build your own ISO files and extract ISO files from um, any kind of software CD that you have. So wait, maybe it's a Photoshop CD, a Microsoft Office CD, um, you know, any kind of Microsoft um, operating uh, system CD. Uh, this thing does it all and it, oh, it's, it's such a great program and it's unbelievable that it's free. Um, I needed a program where um, I could extract um, so I needed to start backing up my software CDs and uh, I wanted to do it for free and then once I found something that I could do for free um, I could share it with you guys everything else usually had a limit of 300 megabytes and then after that you had to pay for it but this one's free so um, and it works from anywhere from uh, Windows XP all the way up to uh, Windows 10. Uh, so let's just get right into it. This is going to be a very basic tutorial. The uh, the software is very simple to use uh, on its own. So uh, we're just going to go right over to download and all the way to the left the fully functional burn aware free and you're just going to click download and it should start automatically if not um, click down here and do do do. I'm using Firefox, so I'm going to save it. And then once it's ready, um, I already have it installed. So just go through the prompts one at a time. There isn't a lot you need to uh, to do. Uh, there is one thing that it shows you while you're going through the prompts. Is it says that uh, you know it asks you if you want to install um, something like a vast and just decline that. That's the only um whatever sponsor that they have and just hit decline unless you really want it and then that's it got it so this is uh the main um this is the main page that you're going to be uh presented with so um and you have four categories data multimedia disk images and utilities so the first one is data if you're not familiar with burning uh data disks this is just where you would put anything you wanted. So whether it's pictures, um, movies, uh, music, whatever it is, all you would have to do is just drag them right into here, click burn, and it's just going to come up as a data disk. This is the fastest way to burn uh, any disk because there's no encoding involved or anything like that. And so whatever disk you're using, um, anywhere from a CD of 650 megabytes uh, all the way up to the Blu-ray XL, um, you can just check that off. Um, I do believe that it will actually find it automatically, but it's always good to be safe where you just put in um, whatever one uh, that uh, corresponds with. And this is data, so all you have to do is burn it and pop it into another um, another CD-ROM drive and it just comes up in File Explorer where you can just view it on the computer. Um, so uh, another cool thing is you can create your own um, bootable disk. So same thing, you click on that, drag whatever files you want in there and from here uh, it actually allows you to um, it, it's similar to a data disk, but it is going to have the option to have an, an auto run as well. Uh, again, very simple. There's not a ton of options here that you need to mess around with. And then if you have a larger uh, disk or a larger file, you can actually um, you can drag it into here. And then if it's too big for that one disk, uh, it'll install it once you're done burning the first disk it'll ask you to insert the second disk and maybe third disk if necessary and so if you're installing it um, at a different location um, 
you would put in disk one and then after disk one is complete it would say please insert disk two and then once that's complete it would say please insert disk three uh, multimedia very very easy burning audio CDs I know a lot of people now are using USB and Bluetooth uh, functions and the car and so forth um, but this is still cool where you can basically just drag in uh, any uh, mp3 like you can see like this is dot mp4 uh, so any mp3 file I believe you can also drag in dot mp4s that are music files as well and then you can change I don't even know if that would even, it won't even work for that <laughs> so uh, let's just see this real quick um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Doink. and then so in the audio we can um, what we call remove uh, remove tracks as we'd like and so forth um, then I think we can drag them and change which one's going to be the the next track uh, very very simple stuff here and um, yeah you can always uh, what should I call you can always change um, you know you can always mess around with the options I, I believe that all of the defaults are actually perfect so I wouldn't even mess with them put the songs that you want in there and then it shows you how much of uh, how many minutes you have available and so forth. Uh, I know this is a very old school way, but it's still cool to have make uh, mix uh, CDs and that kind of stuff. So um, you can burn DVDs on here, which is really cool. Or I'm sorry, this we're still in multimedia. Excuse me. So you would have a uh, do, 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 do. yeah, create a DVD that would work in like an Xbox 360, a PS, it would work in any DVD player, which is fantastic. So, um, to do if I just dragged in my file here and then click burn, uh, we would be good uh, from there. So, uh, let's close this out. And then from here, you can also, if you have a, um, a Blu ray disc, uh, you can burn uh, really high quality files on here as well. So, you'd either use, you typically um, want to use at least a DVD dual layer. And um, but you can go all the way up to the Blu-ray XL, the 100 gigabytes is what that stores, which is pretty nice. Same thing, just drag the files over, and it'll be perfectly fine. Fine. Uh, this is really why I wanted to show you guys um, this program um, because I have um, software CDs that I do want to make backups of. I want to have uh, ISO files of them. And this is just an example over here, my software CDs. And so you'll see that I have Windows 10, 32-bit, ISO, 64, you know, Windows 7, all that good stuff. And so in here, um, so obviously I can burn an ISO. I could grab one of those ISO files where it says browse. And I can go to... Um, I can go down to software CDs and click one of these guys here and all I'd have to do is burn it and then I would have um, a copy of my this is Windows 7 64 bit uh, I think it's pro but regardless um, as long as I had the um, appropriate amount of space then I'll have a, a backup CD of my, uh, my Windows 7 or whatever else I decide to use um, but this is why I really wanted to show you guys this because this was something I was really looking for and I know Power ISO has this capability but you have to register and all that stuff and to be honest with you um, I don't use it that much but I feel like I would even need to um, I would even need to pay for it I mean this is just like I needed to do something pretty quick and burn aware um, you know luckily enough is free so here's our copy to ISO file I want to show you something fun um, turn on the webcam real quick in F5 okay so <laughs> this isn't one that I'm really trying to back up but it's an old Windows XP uh, home edition uh, from 2002 and I think this was really I don't know about Vista but this is one of the last Windows operating systems that had um, that you can install it with uh, one 
regular CDR, so the, um, the DVDs weren't uh, prevalent back then. It was, you could install the, the whole operating system using a using one CDR, which is pretty cool. Um, so, and long story sh long story short, for everybody, um, maybe there's some people here who don't know what an ISO file is. Uh, an ISO file is one file. Um, it's a single file that is an exact replicate um, of it has all of the contents of a CD um, or whatever CD or DVD uh, Blu-ray and all of those contents go into one single file and you can use that one single file called a .iso to um, to burn um, onto other you know to make copies of and so forth um, and also to mount so using uh, using a program uh, to mount an ISO where you don't even have to burn it you can just uh, load up a program like power ISO and then uh, get all the um, files off and install software that way so this is where we want to copy to image so we're copying it from the disk copy disk to disk image um, and so this is where I want to make sure copy to disk copy disk to disk image yes and from here uh, my path is going to be uh, let's call it Windows XP Windows XP and it was definitely 32 bit uh, home. I mean who knows maybe I will use it so I'm going to save that and from there I'm just going to hit copy. I have the CD in my CD-ROM drive and then from there um, it typically doesn't take too long and this is just a regular CD so we're just taking all of the contents off of the Windows XP home CD and we're putting it into one single file called an ISO and as we can see it is it should be going into here there's no size there yet so um, so once that's done I'm gonna actually cancel it right now so we can continue but it will put it um, it will put it in that one file uh, which is not there because I canceled it and now we're having fun here as far as that option goes so let's see if we can close that window okay cool uh, make boot ISO make bootable ISO images from local files so um, we can get any file we want and turn it into um, an ISO so it's kind of like almost turning it into a dot zip file but we're turning it into a dot, uh, a dot ISO so you can add as many uh, files as you want and then create it into uh, make it into an ISO uh, and then you have the utilities here uh, where you can if it's a rewritable disk uh, you can erase or format that disk. Uh, you can view the disk and drive information, like for right now. Uh, and here, do do do. It's bootable, uh, free space, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, and that's it. So, and then you can also check a disk for errors as well. So I could always verify a disk. And then it would show me if any errors come up. If there are, I might want to reconsider um, using that disk. So I'm just closing this out. And that is really it. The, like I said, the biggest thing that I wanted to show you guys was the uh, copy to ISO feature, which is absolutely, it's huge. It's huge, um, you know because if you have solved for C CDs that are important to you that you know you are going to use again in the future um, you can have those backed up onto your uh, computer and then if you need to down the line um, you can burn those ISOs to um, you know to a CD or DVD typically it's going to be at least a DVD now and 
So I could choose that. I could pop in a DVD um, and then go ahead and, and burn it, and that's it. So typically you want to get a, um, if you're burning uh, with CDRs, I would use CD minus Rs typically, especially for audio. And if you're using DVDs to burn, um, <clears throat> excuse me, DVD uh, videos, I would use a DVD minus R as well. There's tons of adjustments in here and so forth, um, but everything is very self-explanatory. Uh, I'll even put a, um, like I said, this was the biggest reason I wanted to show you guys uh, this program. So it's just a very quick tutorial, and I really hope you guys uh, did enjoy this. And uh, in the actual description, I'll make a link. I'm, I'll put a time link so you can just skip right to that part. So um, thanks for sticking with me, and, and definitely, definitely check out uh, Burn Aware uh, free. It's fantastic. If you're using it for personal uh, use, then, um, you know, it's completely free and you're good to go. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching. Please subscribe, like, tell me what you think about this program, if it helped you at all. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.